I like this one more since it was a lot more expensive. Well, I don't want to play in front. That's terrible. You look beautiful. And I think we can work something out and maybe you could buy that dress. I don't any more dresses. But they don't have any more in our budget. Don't try it anymore, then. I am really picky and I have high expectations. I don't know, I just think that I really, I just don't like the lace. Amy, are you saying yes to the dress? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, pressurized mom. A wedding dress is probably the most expensive piece of clothing you'll ever buy in your life. One has to understand that several factors contribute to the high cost of wedding dresses. Starting with the meticulous craftsmanship involved, skilled artisans painstakingly hand sew delicate lace, beadwork, and embroidery onto every inch of the gown, ensuring that each detail is flawless. This level of craftsmanship requires countless hours of work. I know what I've got in my head, I know what I'm looking for, I just hope that I can find it today. My name is Amy Sams. I'm here to find my perfect wedding dress. That is massive. You've got to try something you didn't think you'd like. Tell us what you want. That dress there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's quick. <laughs> Let me introduce you. This is Gemma. Hi, girls. Hi, Gemma. Hello. So, who is my bride? Me. Oh, <gasps> hi. So, it is budget. I think probably about 1300 1300 OK. okay. I think this would be perfect for her. Yes. But you know what I'm going to say, don't you? You know, it's 1700 pounds. Yeah. And the expertise of these artisans comes at a premium. Moreover, the quality of materials used in wedding dresses is of paramount importance. Fabrics like silk, satin, and lace are often selected for their luxurious texture and appearance, but they also tend to be expensive. These high-quality materials are sourced from reputable suppliers who charge a premium for their exceptional fabrics. But this means that buying a bride's perfect dress will certainly hurt the pocket of the person paying and a mother's pocket is certainly hurting in this episode. Bride Amy has rich taste, but her mom has a bit of a lower budget. At around $1,300, it will be difficult to find the dress of her dreams. Both mom and the bride know that a wedding dress is not merely a garment. It is a reflection of a bride's individuality and personal style. Choosing a wedding dress that resonates with the bride is crucial. The dress that caught Amy's eye initially is beyond her budget. This wedding is the one thing we've done right at the right time. It's not doing it for me. Whatever she puts on it is going to look lovely, and yeah. it does. Other people will think, wow. The pressure is definitely on for me to find my perfect dress. Me and Danny, we've been through a lot. How are you feeling right now? I feel emotional because I'm in a dress, mm. but I'm not emotional about this dress. Right. But shot that what I want could be out of reach. And I feel like I'm not going to find my dress. The dress is in budget, but it doesn't change the way I feel about it. I just really want to get it off. <laughs> really big deal for me to say. It's the first time I've ever tried on wedding dresses, and I just can't get my head around that this is not what I envisioned at all. Because it allows her to express her unique personality and feel her most beautiful on one of the most significant days of her life. A wedding dress is a tangible representation of the bride's vision for her wedding day. It sets the tone for the entire event, aligning with the chosen theme, colors, and ambience. When a bride finds a dress she loves, it becomes a central focal point that ties together all the elements of her wedding. But is the perfect dress really worth breaking the bank? Amy doesn't like the dresses in her budget, and she's sad that what she wants is far too out of her reach. But Amy decides to put in some of her own money so that she can get the dress of her dreams. And the very next dress that Amy tries on is well within her budget. Mom and sister love it too. It seems this bride has found the dress of her dreams. Neither I'm going to have to increase the budget in order to get my dream dress. 1300 is the money that you're giving towards the dress. It's the first dress I was drawn to. But now there's just certain aspects of it I'm not sure about. So I'm not 100% that this is the one. I hope this extra budget makes a difference because if it doesn't, I don't know what I'm going to do. This dress was right. It is everything I thought it would be on the mannequin and more. Fabric is elegant, it's feminine, it's sexy. I love it. A bit more wow. It is a lot more wow. This is stunning. Yeah, I love this. Yeah? It's just incredible. It's exactly the direction I was looking for. Oh, my God. Thanks. If you don't say yes, I'm saying yes for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. No doubt. <laughs> Amy, are you saying yes? to the dress. Yes. <laughs> no 
Number two, mom can't say yes. Amanda is a young bride and she's looking for the dress of her dreams, but her mom's budget might not be big enough to get her the dress that she really wants. We all know wedding dresses are renowned for their elegance and intricate designs, but their exorbitant price tags often leave brides-to-be and their families questioning why they come with such a hefty price. And Amanda is a bride that wants all the fixtures, from crystals to extensive beading because she wants to look like an absolute princess on her wedding day. She tries on a dress that is absolutely beautiful, but it is way over the budget. Amanda's mom is really pressured, her daughter wants everything as expensive as possible, and she just can't do it. Amanda Geary, and um, I'm 22 years old. Who do you have with you today? Today I brought my mom with me. Well, I've talked to my mom since so she's the one buying the dress. She's hoping to stay around 4000 She's always been the princess girl with the girly stuff. She's been everywhere, and she hasn't been able to find the right dress. And I really wanted the style of my dress to be very over the top. I've always said, like, I never want to be able to fit in the car. We can try it. Let's just keep our fingers crossed. This dress is within her budget, but for a reason. The bride is a bit selfish. She doesn't care about her mom's worries and is convinced that eventually her mom will buckle under the pressure and buy her the dress of her dreams. And Amanda was right. Her mom eventually agreed to increase the budget from $4,000 to $7,500, which is insane. Amanda loves the dress. She says it's quite nice and mom seems to be a fan of it too. But then Amanda does a full 180 and says she doesn't like the bottom of the dress and it's not quite as sparkly as she wanted. Now the greedy bride sets her eyes on a dress that costs $2,000 more. Ah, pretty. <laughs> Pretty, pretty. I love the gathers. I am really picky and I have high expectations. I don't know. I just think that I really, I just don't like the lace. She wants everything expensive. Fit above her budget, but hopefully mom will go for this. I love this dress. I think it's beautiful. It's very different. There's just one dress that had caught my eye. I had seen it on the mannequin when I first came in and I really wanted to try it. Her mom tries to draw the line but buckles once again after seeing Amanda's puppy dog eyes. Lori tries to convince mom to stand up for herself and be firm. She doesn't want to go into debt just for a dress. Amanda eventually lands on a $9,500 dress but her mom finally says no and then the waterworks start. Amanda tries to manipulate her mom but this time her mom won't go back on her word. This time the bride will leave empty handed. What do you think? I like it. Do you like the skirt? Yeah, I like the skirt. I don't any more dresses. But they don't have any more in our budget. Don't try it anymore then. I can say no to Mindy, no. I've always gotten what I want. <laughs> Mom, what do you also, think? I like it. You do? Yes. Your favorite so far? Yes. I like this one more since it was a lot more expensive. But I don't want to play in front. That's. Terrible. There comes a time when you got to stand up to her too and say, you can't have it all. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You're not going to get it for me. No. Number one, budget will not budge. Anna Wayne is a bashing new bride and she's in the boutique looking for the perfect dress for her wedding. But her thoughts and her mom's don't seem to match. A storm is brewing. Anna's looking for a dress that feels like her. She comes in with her entourage, which includes her mother-in-law, sister-in-law, and her mother. But she would rather be here without one of those people. Guess who? That's right, we have another meddling mother in this bridal fitting. Although they haven't even started browsing yet, Anna's mother insists that the most important thing is to find the cheapest dress possible. She has a range of 500 pounds and she's not willing to spend a pound above it. Weddings can be expensive affairs, and the price tag attached to the dress can cause financial stress and disagreements. My name's Anna. I'm here today with my mum, Gaynor, my mother-in-law-to-be, Lee, and my bridesmaid. So we're going to be looking for something maybe to make her a bit happy today. Oh, 245 <laughs> The more expensive it is, the better the dress must Not be. Not necessarily, no. <laughs> she thinks that the dress doesn't have to cost the world. So, Gaynor, I've had a little look in my stock room. Ooh. Now, I've found this. This one is £500. Pounds. Ah. 
I'm hoping we will get a dress that's as cheap as possible. Mom has concerns about the budget and is prioritizing practicality, while Anna may be focused on finding the dress of their dreams regardless of the cost. But Anna is willing to help in the cost. Anna decides that she's going to put in about a thousand pounds of her own money into the wedding fund to make sure she can get her ideal dress. Anna likes sparkles and crisp designs, and she starts looking through the various dresses available at the boutique, hoping to find the one. And the designer actually manages to find a quite pretty dress that falls into mom's range of 500 pounds. But the problem is, mom doesn't even care what the dress looks like, she just cares about the price tag. Anna is not a huge fan of the dress, but she's not entirely against it, and decides to wear it and give it a shot. Mom decides to push her to buy it, telling her she is looking absolutely wonderful in it, but Anna is definitely not on board and neither is anyone else. It just doesn't feel like her and makes her feel like she is playing the bride in a school play rather than actually getting married and being a bride. Anna decides to try on another dress that she actually likes. This one is an exquisite Dando London creation and Anna looks absolutely ravishing in it. You can see the happiness on her face as she envisions walking down the aisle in it. Her mother-in-law and sister-in-law are also on board. They think she looks beautiful and that this might just be the one, or at least a contender for it. But Anna's mom is totally against it because the dress costs 1,700 pounds, simply too far out of their dress budget. She tries to put up a bit of a fight until a question is posed. Would mom change anything about the dress if it was at a lower price? And that's when mom caves in. She agrees that the dress sits on Anna perfectly, almost as if it was made just for her. Do you think mom will like this one? I'm not sure. If my mom loves it, I will be a bit worried. I think I just sort of look like, um, I don't know, I'm playing a bride in a play. Oh, you don't want yeah, to feel like a plain dress. bride on your wedding day, not at all. Detailing on it is, is just really pretty. Mm. Think I, you'd see me walking down the aisle wearing this one? Yeah. You look beautiful and I think we can work something out and maybe you could buy that dress. Are you saying yes to the dress? I'm going to say yes to the dress. Yay! Seeing her little girl so happy in the dress makes her cave in and she agrees they will figure out a way to fit this glamorous dress into their wedding budget because seeing Anna happy is what matters most of all in the end. That's all for today folks. See you next time.